Hey, I'm Matt, and I'm on the bottom screen for Fallout 4. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Coop. Together, we make Split Play Gaming, coming at you live with a Fallout 4 Let's, Let's Play. Uh, we have a couple mods enabled, uh, things that include multiple melee weapons, different modernized weaponry that you may see in the real world, um, a haunted vault, and some other stuff like that. So, Matt, if you're ready, we can uh, get this kicked off. Yeah, let's do it, dude. All right. In three, two, one, new game. Yeah, we won't do, we won't be uh, talking during the cutscene, so you guys can enjoy if you've never seen it. Uh, Coop and I have always been wanting to play co-op games from Bethesda, but we never figured out a way to. Until now, pretty much, we did this for Fallout New Vegas, and it was pretty fun. It is fun. Uh, yeah, a lot of different things can happen at uh, different times if I'm walking around in this UR. You know, yep. one of us may run into an enemy and one of us may not, or one of us may find a really good gun and the other person finds two bottle caps. So, you know, it could really change. Um, it might be interesting, we thought, to see the contrast between two worlds and how they might be randomly generated. Yeah, that sounds good, dude. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war. Man, I love that opening. Changes. Yeah, it's easily one of my uh, favorite cutscenes in any game. War uh, never very changes. well done. You're gonna knock Definitely. Tonight, hon. You think? By the black and white too. I don't think Absolutely. it would be the same if they did it in I'll color. Mm -hmm. Hey Cooper, you've right. done a lot of the studying of the lore of this game universe. Absolutely. Um, kind of explain what 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 was going on there. Like we're having 1950s. Well, the whole the uh, so it's important to understand that after sometime after World War II, at some point there was a. Uh, a divergence in uh, timelines from the real world and the Fallout world. So, you know, up until, you know, I don't know, whenever, sometime later on, um, basically, like fossil fuels ran out or something along that lines. And then um, we had to decide what we we're going to do about that. So as a country, or Not really bad. everybody, we had to come no, together bad. and say, okay, well, how are we going to have energy? They decided upon nuclear 
China, however, obviously war broke out over the resources, so China so invades Alaska to get to our fuel. We uh, we didn't take too kindly to that, so we fought back, and um, basically there was a war at some point. Hmm. China's on the verge of collapse, and they start to dr throw bombs. Oh, There's a huge turn, war in Europe. Guy. We start to throw bombs, and we get to where we are now, where the entire world's been blown up, slide in and we have no choice but to go underground with vault Tech, which should have been our saving grace. However, vault Tech is a bunch of douchebags and decided they were going to perform human experiments on people. Hmm. So, um, as you explore vaults, you know, you can read on these computer terminals that, like, mm. ah... Not this is that. not going the way that the people thought it would go, and so mm -hmm. you can kind of oh, read their stories. Cute. Um, each one's pretty different, and it's one of the more, I guess, interesting things about the Fallout it's universe. If you change. if you care enough to actively read into the um, looking good. The the terminals themselves. It does take a lot of reading, but uh, I personally get a lot more bang for my buck when I read them. Yeah, I know what you mean. I always read the books on Skyrim. There's my strapping husband. And that uh that really opened up the the background of the whole so. game. I hate my guy's ears. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what to do about him. You think my nose is too big? Okay. Your eyes. They're one of my favorite things about you. You can change my type of eyes. Alright. Different. Your eyes. They're one of my favorite things about you. Like that. Alright, Matt. Well, I'm, uh, I'm done. Well, never mind. Actually, I have to still do the body. We'll just go with a, a regular guy. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm done sculpting on. everything whenever you are, so if you want to get this started, we can. Yeah, I'm about done. Just another minute, I swear. I think I'm definitely going to make a fat guy. Naturally. Yeah. The fat bearded wonder. Alright, cool. I'm ready to hit done. Alright, and let's do it in three, two, one. Usually I sit there and edit up my wife, but in the interest of saving time, I'll, I'll let her do her own makeup. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. Ah. I really like the detail they put in all this, you know, all the different, uh... I mean, they had to be pretty intricate when they are putting, you know, all the 50s atmosphere down. Um, yeah, this is one of the, this is the first game that we actually get to see everything pre-nuke. Yeah. So, it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was kind of a, uh, a milestone for the series. I remember at the E3 press release, you know, this was a, uh, this was a big deal. Yeah, the hype was unreal. Fun. Nervous? Oh, Everyone's like gonna love this oh, sound like someone I young Shaw. I shall attend. I'm happy you're changing that diaper, Cosworth, and not me. You know, I was nervous at first. Say that again. It's really good with Sean. We should take Cosworth to be service soon, don't you think? Hey, fun. Wow, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? <laughs> oh, when you talk to Nora for the first time, she goes, well, look at you. How'd a girl like me get so lucky? And then you see my character. The fat bearded wonder. <laughs> yeah, she's lucky. Matt, you're a blessing in any woman's life. Enjoy your How dare you doubt uh, that? Thank you. I guess I'll watch the news for now. Yeah, I mean they gave. I like how they gave you. You know. Can you get that? Oh, there's the doorbell. It's so. probably that sale. But I like how they gave you. Um, they give you time to really look around the house for a minute there. Good morning. All right, I'm talking All to our man calling. here. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. 
You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying to. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Uh, I don't even Maybe know what happens if I say you. not right now. Is he, no. Does he persist? <clears throat> you he do. does persist. Now, okay. I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. That game, I don't need cutscenes for this a, part. Uh, mm -hmm. A precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service Laying to our foreshadowing country, on. You have Very been thick. selected for entrance. I'm into here today the local to tell vault. you that because of your vault family service to our 11. country, you have been pre-selected for entrance oh, into the local oh, no. vault. It is. Believe you me. Vault now you're already 11. cleared for entrance. Now in Fallout 3, was it Vault 101? Uh, yeah. That okay. was, uh, you know, that when you, you spawned in. I know you uh, some information. That's you you spawned in on your your you need to like mom's labor to make sure you're clear and, uh, the yeah. yeah. They predict what you're gonna look like and all that, you know, with the future Let's tech, see. and then she passes away. Come back some other time. And um, come on, hon. It's just then you you people. start Let him fill it out and it's in the vault. That's how the game starts. It's pretty much the only I fall game that I've played. I, I started in Fallout Three. Yes. To yeah. where um. Splendid. Splendid. You actively start Let's in a get vault. To it. Like they're always present, but uh, yeah, not always. Uh, you don't spawn there in the other two games. On one of them, you're a courier, and this one, you're just a, a retired soldier trying uh, to make his way. Yeah, I'm naming my character Mild Shove. I like it. I'm going with the classic Beef Wallington. My guy's gonna be a bad speaker. And yeah, I'm no Barack Obama. Rather strong. No Barack Obama. One, I have the perception. One of the greats. I mean, you know. I have the perception of an eagle. Is that high? I yeah, I'm gonna go with six. I'm going four. So very middling. I don't, I don't feel like I need that much agility. I ain't gonna I'm gonna be smart perception. enough to open a toaster. And start a microwave. So I'm going to go with the three on intelligence. Okay, I'm pretty comfortable with mine. So whenever you want to hit accept, that I'm ready. Okay, let me get some strength in there. Okay, I am good to go. Alright. Well, I'm going to hit... No. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Kill um, yourself. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, One. no price is too high. Um, um, <laughs> thanks again. Good answer. It's I peace have of my mind. Moments. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price I'm is too high. I'm sitting on the couch. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> Good answer. watching the I TV. Now, now Codsworth has come to fetch me. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. Paternal affection. Yeah, what's right. up, Palmer? Let's go see this little baby. Alright, I'm sitting here. I'm What? Seem to have lost I'm Hellboy, right? Again! My wife comes in walking oh, no. as a fullback carrying my child. Gosh, Coop, didn't you know? The, uh, the football hold is the safest way for a baby to live. Yeah. She's yeah. the leading rusher. Alright, run down the street. I've seen the vertebrate above us. <laughs> hey, your motorcycle fell over. That's my wife. That's absurd. I am not on the list. You don't get in. I'm going in. You guys. These soldiers are a lot more calm than I would be in this situation. I am not on the list. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop me. 
Thank you, sir. Good luck, ma'am. And God Please help us all. Me. Come on! What's gonna happen to all those people outside the We're gate? We're doing everything we can. Now this keep way. moving! We're about to step up to the uh, plate here. Sir, we need to yep, send I'm you stepping down up the now. Step on the platform! Step on the platform! In the center! Almost there. We're gonna be okay. Uh, of course I you lag behind. Almost there. We We're gonna be you. okay. Oh I love you. Oh, here we go. We love you too. He's popping off, lads. Oh my god! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. Very dramatic the uh, the first time yeah. you pull it. Yeah, no doubt. We did it. We made it. We did it. We're okay. We made it. Oh, stop talking. No one else is talking here. Okay. Yeah, other people are crying and you're trying to comfort everybody by saying, we made it. When there's a nuke going off about this. Mrs. Russell here? D did she make it out? Sorry, Mr. Russell, your wife is not here. She may have been so we just a future <laughs> of the stairs. Underground. Right, so we believe. just Yes, Lila, of the stairs. Minute later. I can't believe it. No, no, Lila, Lila, Lila. don't get caught up later. thinking about that. You're safe. No, no. Don't get caught up. Gotta say, this overseer, You're not safe, as compelling yeah. as the so one from Fallout 3. Just head up these stairs and through the door there. No, nah, but maybe this one's a little less murderous. Ah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. This way, this way, this way. What's up, homeboy? Step over to the table. I am a male, but I, how dare you question that? Do you have one in jumbo size? <laughs> There's a really fat security guard over there, so they probably do. They have not seen this type of fat. <laughs> it's much different than other types. Oh, hold on. I see the fat guy you're talking about now. He is rather rotund. He is, but he's got good posture, so he doesn't have back problems. What now? My guy on the other hand. Yeah. He went from the war and started eating Twinkies and sugar bombs. Uh, thanks. What now? All right. I got my uh, extra, 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 extra large jumpsuit. This is one of our most. Yeah, I'm following Doc here down the hallway. Yep, same here. Our home is everything we have. Oh, you're so this is one of our most advanced facilities, sir. No, I get in front of you, Doctor. Nah-ha-ha! <laughs> we'll be going over all that in a way. You're very impolite, Just Batman. A few items we'll be You're really taking the going Breaking Bad thing to heart. Yeah. Breaking fat. What's up, Doc? Hey, say. just step in here, just and step in here. And All right, I'm standing in front of my pod. Oh, actually, hold on, I need to go. Uh, I need to comfort Sean. Who's my little guy? Okay. I'm not going far. Mm. I'll just that be over right there. Here. See? He can't see me, Nora. See? You're holding him to your shirt. <laughs> Daddy's right here. He's looking at your shirt. Oh, I'm standing in front of my pod. All right, three, two, one, hit it. Go in it's inside as my guy. I wonder if it'll fit me. Super quick. They made him extra large. All right. Well. You know. Nope. It's pinching my love handles. Just, just is nope. It? This, this is going to be a very painful cryo. Time for home alone. Where do we pee? Um. It gets frozen. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got for you. It's not a good life. Can you imagine coming out of this thing, how bad you'd have to be? Yeah. I don't imagine you'd be walking very straight. You never walk okay. very straight when I'm done with you, so. Ooh, neither does Nora, but that's not my baby. Yeah, yeah. Actually, she walks perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. The vault computer. Oh, 
better if I called it Siri. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm not even gonna look at Nora. <laughs> she doesn't deserve it. Oh. If you tap A, you can, like, beat on the glass. That's interesting. What's up? <laughs> hey, let me out. Beef Walton's coming for you. Why does he press other buttons? You unhand her. She may not have been faithful. She, d she doesn't deserve this. And 44. I'm gonna eat that man. What? So you, you absolutely, your character. I have the same score as you, mysterious figure. <laughs> um, you absolutely have to get the cannibalization perk. Oh yeah, I think so. That's how he stays fat. He eats yeah. people. Have you seen that new stupid show that um, Sci-Fi has released called Blood Drive? I have seen trailers for that. I have seen in I, a world. I have clicked. <laughs> I have clicked on every trailer. It, 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 I can't look away. Yeah, it's like Sharknado. It's so bad it might be good. Yeah, well, that seems like that's all Sci-Fi does now. Like it's just the B channel. Like it, yeah. it doesn't try to do anything good. Yeah, in a world where gas runs out, human lives are a commodity. Blood drive. Come on! Come on, 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 God! Alright, I'm opening the pod. Nora. Yes, we are. How you doing? Yeah. That gunshot doesn't look too good on you. Alright, you keep the ring, I'm good. I'll go make a new one out of twine. I promise. For my new bride, Piper. Twine. Twine, that's right. All right. Yeah, I'm heading out now. I'm not going to look through all these other bodies. Yeah, I am too. <coughs> Fat guy in a little vault suit. Fat guy in a little <coughs> vault suit. <coughs> yeah, not I, a pretty picture. I, if I had to, like, fight... You know, in a Fallout world, it, I swear the cockroaches would give me the most trouble. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of bugs, so I agree. No one, I don't, I can't, I guess there is some weirdos, but nobody loves bugs. Yeah, no, I can't think of a single person who does. Yeah, and if they do, I don't, I don't really want to be your friend. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want to trust that person. Because uh, all I know is that they're yeah, gonna have like pet cockroaches. Giant roaches. Giant. What, what the roaches? hell? Right. What the hell? hell? Uh, better get. Will it let me sleep right now? Oh, okay. I found a cafeteria. I'm gonna take a little sit. My dude's been working out those ham hocks all day. <laughs> and by all day, ham I mean hocks. five minutes. <laughs> 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 yeah. We both wobble, right, but they don't gonna fall go down. Here into this generator room. All right. I'm gonna try and do a little bit more uh, with the melee weapons than I tend to. Like I want to, I want to shoot, but I don't know. I never really work with the melee stuff. Yeah, I'm really dangerous. trying to try those new weapons. I want an axe. What yeah. Here? That's the Where that's is the main everyone? one, but. Yeah, we'll see Especially what else happens. that gore mod. Oh yeah, we also have uh, the blood and gore mods. <laughs> yeah, before it shows bone, this is going to be pretty crazy. Alright, where are you at right now? I am going through the last door at the electrical place and heading up the stairs for the two cockroaches. Get off me! Okay. Die, zombie! Get to the overseer's office. Get some stim packs. Ooh, handgun. 50 rounds. I don't here remember you giving me that much ammo before. Got the handgun though. Ammo, ammo, and near dwell. RP Adam West. I have never come back for this cry later before. Uh, there was a trick that I, I think if you use dog meat over here and you tell him to go fetch something, 
He'll actually go down here and get it for you. But did they patch that, or is it still there? It's still there. Huh. I know these, uh, the modern firearms mod makes everything hit harder, or at least the modern guns hit harder. So. Yeah. Alright, I just opened the evacuation tunnel. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that now. I just got some bobby pins. I will, uh, I'll continue and then I'll wait on you at the, uh, the pit boy area. Alright. I'm heading that way now. I'm fighting some cockroaches. What's so if you haven't played Volat before, then you'll see, uh, what I just did there, it's called VATS. It's kind of like a targeting system that, uh, you can do to... And you can pick out what part of the body on an enemy you'd like to shoot. You can, uh... You know, if you shoot them in the leg enough, it might cripple them so they can't walk anymore, or they'll at least limp around. Yeah. I love that For you instance, can target specific body parts. Yeah. I just shot one rat rich in the legs. I was hoping it would be more, more gory than that, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm at the pit boy ready when you are. How did you beat me? Uh, I beat a lot of cars. <laughs> Alright, I'm there. Three, All right. two, one. Let's pick it up. The ceremonial wiping off of the dust that you like. Yeah, it, I, don't, I don't know. It's just a lot of detail. I dig it. Yeah, this pit boy is definitely it. more detailed, for sure. Yeah, I mean, compared to the old ones. In the old games, I mean, uh, at least the one I fall at three. You know, you get your pot, you get your uh, your pit boy when you're ten or whatever age it was, and then you know you're you're on well on your way into manhood. Yep. Guess that it's Did you know if you press select, here. you can zoom into the pit boy? Oh, you mean when it's pulled up? Yeah. I did not know that. It's pretty cool. Here I am. Just all right, I'm ready to open the door when you are. Yeah, let's do it. Three, two, one. Go, go, Power Ranger. Wrong video game. Sorry. <laughs> My guy seems to know how to work this pit boy very well for just picking it up. Yeah, he has had advanced robotics and futuristic technology 101. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Or maybe he's just or being controlled by people who have played a lot of Fallout. Ah, it could be it. There's some water down here. Is it really good? No, it's not. It's the light! <laughs> it's so bright! God? Yeah. elevator hovering over finish me, and exit the vault let me turn my music up just a tad it was okay. a bit quiet all right i'm also on the elevator but the gate of course there we go all right i'm hovering over finished all right let's do it all right three two one enjoy your return to the surface and thank you for choosing vault tech Eh, vault tech. Thank you. This game still, I don't know, the graphics in this game speak to me. I mean, they might not be the best, I know a lot of people hate it on the uh, 
the facial animations, but mm -hmm. just looking out, you know, over Sanctuary down there and, you know, beyond. Just, I don't know, something about that really struck a chord with me the first time I saw it. Yeah. I'm gonna look around over here, maybe find some stem packs or something. It's a bird? Okay. <sighs> Yeah, I like how everything's all blurry. Yeah. Not quite oriented yet. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm gonna uh, some rad X. Hill towards Sanctuary. Alright. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Well, let's just sprint. Yeah, I love the sprint feature we have in this game. Yeah, I mean, they, I guess they introduced it in, what, Skyrim? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oblivion yep. didn't have it, I don't think. No, I know Oblivion didn't have it, I know Fallout 3 where New Vegas had it. Alright, suitcase, I'm glad you had nothing for me. Military fatigue. Oh! Like 45 ACP pistol. Yeah, kill yourself. I got and Bobby a clean pins. Suit. Hey, don't hate. Appreciate it. trying to, should I wear the military fatigues or stick with the vault suit? Let's see how these military ones look. Uh, you know, they look okay, but I, I want the vault suit back. Oh, man. Protection. All right, I'm going to hop over. I'm, talk to Codsworth. I'm or, like a fat banker with a pistol. <laughs> All right. I've got a nice <laughs> suit on. A really nice suit. All right, I'm talking to our robot friend. Awesome, you awesome. survived. <laughs> Time to be a dick. Everything's dead. God, they did. Yeah. God, they really did. Everything's dead. Everything's dead. Ah, yes, the gum. Uh, the posies have been uh, problematic, I admit. Ah, oh, if only the missus were here to help. Where is she, by the by? They. They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> God damn it. Tell me what's going on. 200 years? That's insane. A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. What? No. I, I, I can Codsworth make jokes at a time food. like this. Sir, I've been thinking. If something is amiss, your loved ones may simply be hiding from the Red Menace. Right. The Red Menace. Gotta be kidding me. I have an idea. Let's search the neighborhood together. After all, the Mrs. and young Sean, they're... All right, Cooper. I am getting ready to search the All right. houses with Codsworth. Lead the way. Round two, sir, sir. Perhaps I should clean out the old sense.
All right, I'm following Codsworth around now. After I heard him go on for half. Yeah, hour. I'm cleaning out my first house. Yeah, me too. We're approaching it. I love how he has a flamethrower. Like that's pretty awesome. He's mostly just. And he was also taking care of a baby. Yeah, he's. he's uh, well equipped. Yep. I'm trying to open this safe. Maybe I can find it. Like a weapon. Sweet. Oh, okay. I did. What'd you get? I also have a 45. It's not a. It's like some. Hecker and cock. Koch. Jesus. I've always said Hecker and cock. I That's what Hunter said. I don't know which one's right. Man, it sounds good though. Like the sounds with this monitor just spot on. I don't on. even have ammo for mine yet. I just have the gun. It looks nice. <laughs> you, you want me to lead the way? All right, Codsworth. Codsworth. It took two Sir, ten millimeters. Yeah, I tried to tell you that, Codsworth. Waste the time. This whole thing is a waste of time. I only want more help, sir. Maybe you could try Concord. I've seen people in that area, and they're only slightly heavy. Oh, Codsworth, let me look into your big, beautiful eyes. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You're just pulling me in a random direction. Well, I'm afraid that's all I have. Concord is nearby, and you know best, sir. I'm sure you'll find my Sean. One way or another. I like these people already. Oh, good. All right. He wants me to go to Concord. Yeah, me too. Or as they pronounce it, Concord. Concord. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if that's the actual pronunciation or what, but God, it sounds awful. Yeah, it uh, might be a Boston thing. It might be. I mean, we're both from down Cankered. south, so perhaps we are over enunciating, mm -hmm. but Concord sounds atrocious to my ears. Indeed. Another 45. Oh, I have some ammo for now. Okay. Nice. Hey! Dang. I'm gonna I'm get compact 45. I'm gonna look around these houses right quick and see what I can uh, yeah, that's what I'm scrounge doing up anything. I have a compact 45 now. I'll give you something compact. Oh, wink. <laughs> ah, bubble gum. Left on the counter after a nuke went off. That's not going to happen. How much money did it chew it? Oh, man. For those of you watching, Cooper and I play this game a lot with our friends. How much did you have radiated bubblegum? 200 years old and radiated. Mm. I'd do it for probably... 4,000 caps. Okay. There must be someone else to also, Matt, if you go back into our old house and you look uh, in the baby's bedroom and you find the special book, mm -hmm. you can assign an extra attribute. Oh, yeah. I need to do that right quick. I, I already forgot what I put mine on. I'm going to put it in strength. I'm gonna go with perception. Okay, let's see what's in the south. Uh, Cooper, same question to you. How much did you chew that bubble gum? Uh, yeah, depending for how long, probably like five hundred bucks. I mean, one, you're going to get cancer or die. It is radiated from an atomic bomb. And it is 200 years old. Yeah, 400, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Nice. Maybe superpowers. You don't know. All right. <laughs> I'll be gum man. <laughs> <laughs> With the power to stretch. 
That can come in handy in the right situation. And get stuck on shoes. Yeah, probably good. All right, I'm gonna try and. I don't even care to hack that computer. I'm just gonna open this safe. All right. Come on, big money. Yeah, I'm gonna check this last out. Ooh, hello. M9. Nice. So easy. Yeah. Okay, I've got fighting baby cockroaches over here. Boy, this looks. I don't like the way it sounds. Okay. Keep the tin mill for now. Got a lot of ammo for that one. Seems to be we're fighting weak enemies anyway. Mm-hmm. Yes. What's that? Oh, six hour P two two six. The army, the U.S. Army, has a. That's recent. They've recently made the switch to the P226. Their main line uh, sidearm. Ooh, nice. All right, this house was a dud. All right. Um, before I do anything, I'm going to quick save, and then. Uh, Ooh, got a makeshift bomb. I'm ready to uh, head across the bridge whenever you are. I'll look around a little more there. Okay. I'm gonna open this Two little frags. safe right quick. I'll take that all day. That's it. I got 7.62 by 39 millimeter ammo. And another compact 45. I got pistols for days, son. Yeah, I've got a lot of handguns. I have zero rifles there. Wish I could dual wield. There's probably a mod for that. Old West. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I wonder if that's just a movie thing or if anyone actually, like, dual-wielded in the Old West. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I feel like I read a story about Doc Holliday doing it, but I don't know. Or uh, maybe Wild Bill Hickok. He might have done it. Dog house. Alright, I'm sitting at the, uh, the beginning to the bridge. Okay. Uh, alright. Let's go ahead and head over. Let's stroll. Just tried to sprint. Uh, told me. Haha, <laughs> no, and bats. Uh, there's two people oh. out here. Oh, they got guns! I'm, this is. Uh, this oh, isn't, okay. This isn't normal. This is new. Oh. First one went down with ease, the other one's hiding in the bushes. That guy's got an automatic weapon. This is not good for me. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, he destroyed me. I I gotta Okay. I, 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 up. I gotta pull I, I gotta pull all the big boy guns now. Oh, this is I died. This is going a different route than I expected. You charging every Yeah, yeah. was well, not ready me. for that. He dropped me with one bullet. This is gonna be a war. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I love that mod. Okay. <laughs> this got a little bit more interesting. <laughs> it's like, alright, yeah, we'll walk over these mole rats and it'll be fine. No. Three men ambush me outside my own neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, well, if anyone was waiting for action, you just got your first taste of it. I'm gonna have to pick up those frag grenades now. Okay. I'm taking out the 45. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I'm heading back to that house with the vault. I need to open it again. Oh, God, then I'm gonna go fight those men. I'm gonna inspect this cockroach. Ugh. Sweet. Okay. I've got that. Now I need to open the vault. Is radio still work? Radio still works. Nice. So we're gonna need to take some cover. Yeah, this is gonna be like a legitimate fight. I I was not prepared to to fight a guy with an AK or whatever he has already. Yeah, me neither. Uh, I'll go with the compact. Oh, let everybody know it's got a higher fire rate. The, the reason these men are here, um, we have a mod that basically uh, does an overhaul for enemies, so there should be more on the map that are harder to kill. 
Yep, and we found our first two victims. Yep. All right, are you ready to head across? Yeah, let's do this. Tell me I have this for X equipped with the deer. Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna try to win a gun battle again. Alright, I got one. I also got one. The automatic oh! Got two! Oh, there's a third! That's it. I'm dead again. There's a third. There's a third. Oh, I got one. I don't know where he was, but he, he destroyed me. Push me. Oh, he's got, he's got the automatic. No, get down. Ow. I thought I killed the guy with the automatic already. This is not good. Two stim packs, please. All right, I'm heading back across the bridge. Oh, stim packs, two, apparently. I'm going to have to use some frags. Oh, he's of uh, which I have none. He's pushing me. All right. He's pushing me. I've got some Prax. Take that. Oh, I got him. It's almost done. Oh, Finish it. Shoot. Yes. Homeboy here has an MP7. Oh, I'm crippled. Must heal the crippled. No! Dude, I am, uh... Yep, I'm gonna have to try it again. Alright. You're lucky you found frag grenades. Yeah, that really, uh, took him down all... Is that a... That's a sniper. Nice. That's a big bullet. That's a 308. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna play this different. I'm going across the river. How's this sound? Oh, so just, yeah. Oh, way to work the action oh, on the wrong side. Okay. Let's oh, see. ten rads? Oh my goodness. Ow! Ow! Okay. Well. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they're accurate. Oh, they're accurate. Okay, that one's dead. I got dropped! It's automatic. It's automatic. Cooper is uh, enjoying the spoils of war. I am. I'm uh, picking up everything and I can. And I'm still fighting for the Ma'alan. Drifter out here. Raider right on. Okay, I'll take that too. Best look. Shit, anybody else? I killed two people here. Apparently not. Oh my gosh! How did you beat them? They shot my arm off! <laughs> Blood is spurting from my arm. Okay. I, uh... I stood behind the wall. <laughs> yeah, like I, that's what I'm gonna I have to do. I backed up across the bridge and fired at them as they charged across. That is something else. There's one. There's two. Oh, hold on. There's two. Headshots. Don't forget about the vets. It's always helpful. Oh! The automatic is unreal. Did he kill you? Yeah, oh That's yeah. A shame. This is like my fifth time dying. I, yeah, the best way, honestly. I don't know. Maybe target the automatic guy if you can pick him out. Yeah. That is He's always on the left though by that statue and I just can't get to him. Interesting. Oh, 
Got one. Got two. Got three. Nice. Oh! That is, uh... That is one new way to start this game mode. This gameplay. <laughs> game mode. Goodness. I'm already up here looking to see if I can, uh... I don't know, I can't modify this sniper. Dude, let's go. I got an AK. Alright. That's good. I got an MP7. I wish I had the AK. I got an MP7 as well. Okay. Looks like I'm going to be outgunned. <laughs> How many bullets do I have for? Wow, 66? Alright. Battle rifle? Oh, my. Oh, dude, this mod's cool. Alright, what do you want to do? You want to head up or stay... Um, Where we're at, and, I, uh, I'm gonna need to save and quit here, actually. Okay. So I will. Well, uh, this was a good first video. We got into some action on the new mod. We got the intro. Guys, we will. I am Matt Van Dyke, and we will have to see you next time on Split Play Gaming. Peace.